Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Let's have a look at a very interesting story that has been captured by Nation this morning. Nation, 75% of Hustler Fund loans yet to be repaid. If you go through that story, Nation is reporting that about 9.5 billion Kenya shillings has been disbursed through the Hustlers Fund. Out of that amount, only 2.6 has been repaid. So you are seeing about 7 billion Kenya shillings has not been repaid. The story is also reporting that 16.5 million Kenyans have registered with the Hustlers Fund. 16.5 million Kenyans. If you look at the amount that has not been paid, and then you look at the Kenyans who have registered with the Hustlers Fund, you can see clearly millions of Kenyans have not repaid the Hustlers Fund. In this video, I want us to dig deep into this story to understand what it means politically and even economically. Because when William Root and his team were campaigning, they were telling Kenyans that they were going to move them from bottom to ups. And he made it very clear in the campaigns that they were going to give these hustlers funds to start businesses. I want us to dig deep into this story. Before we do that, if you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. From that story, you are seeing clearly that millions of Kenyans have not repaid the hustlers funds. And I won't be wrong to say a good majority of them have not been able to repay the funds because they don't have the money to repay. A good majority, if not 80 or even 90 percent, they don't have the funds to repay. And I'm saying that because if you look at the bracket of Kenyans who have taken that hustlers fund, it ranges from 18 to around 33. These most likely are youths who are not economically stable. And upon getting the 500 Kenya shillings, a good majority of them were not able to start any business with the amount because you cannot start any meaningful business with 500 Kenya shillings. Or even if you start a business with that 500 Kenya shillings, it cannot sustain you to a point you are able to cater for yourself and to repay back the 500 Kenya shillings. So going by the age bracket, it's a fact. A good majority of the youth who took the money don't have what to, re or rather don't have the money to repay. Secondly, if you look at that whole story, in fact, I'm seeing a tune of Kenyans up to ten, about 10 million who have not repaid that, that amount. And this is, it's less than one month. We are still within one month. And already, about almost 10 million, 8 to 10 million Kenyans are not able to repay the amount. So they are in debt in less than one month only. In the coming months, most Kenyans will also most likely be in debt. <laughs> yeah. 
most Kenyans will be dead. So it's a fact that this amount has actually indebted Kenyans, or rather has made Kenyans eh, de debtors. Let me put, put it that way. Hmm? One month ago, Kenyans were better off than they are today. Because that one, that one month ago, maybe some of them never had any loans to disturb them mentally. But now they have some loans disturbing them. So it's a fact, in the one month, the Hustlers Fund has made Kenyans most likely more miserable, going by the number who have not repaid the amount. Another thing coming out very clearly, the, the Hustlers Fund is not achieving its intended purpose. It's something that was not well thought of before being launched. I'm seeing a William Ruto's team who are just making empty promises during the campaigns. Miraculously, they found themselves in government. And because that was their rallying call when they were campaigning, they had at least eh, to, in one way or the other, show that they are, they are fulfilling on some of their campaign promises. The truth of the matter, this Hustlers Fund was not well thought of, and I'm seeing a very high possibility where it's going to flop as time goes by. It's most likely going to flop. That's something coming out very, very clearly. So it's not achieving its intended purpose and mission. Yes, it's not achieving its intended purpose and mission. And just as I've been saying here, if you go through the Lords of, of Poverty, a book by a British author, Bruce Graham Hancock, Graham Hancock paints a very bleak picture of the developing countries who are relying on donor AIDS because the AIDS makes them even poorer than they were in the first place. I'm seeing the Hustlers Fund as time goes by is going to make Kenyans poorer and poorer than they were in the first place. Before I conclude, William Ruto's government has got its priorities upside down, completely wrong. Everything they do actually backfires. And I'm saying that because this one is clearly going to backfire. Everything they try doing backfires. What does that mean? It means this is a government that was not ready to rule. And it's also a government that does not enjoy the goodwill amongst Kenyans. That's why you are seeing every move they try backfires, or if it fails to backfire, then Kenyans themselves reject those kind of moves and initiatives. That's exactly what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me stop it there. But before I stop, before I stop, William Ruto and his team should find for better ways of addressing the problems Kenyans have. Because the government has so far announced that they are going to disperse the second phase of the hustlers' loans, other funds. And the amount is going to range from 100k, 100,000 to 2.5 million Kenya shillings. And for you to access those amounts, you can only access them through circles, through banks, through chambers. You cannot access those amounts individually. So you are seeing clearly the funds might not even help 
the hustlers. It might only help those who are already well economically, not the hustlers. Let me stop it there. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. And to any other person who wants to support our channel here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.